Lesson 107, Ratios. Action. Okay, today we have a ratio as a way of describing your relationship between two numbers. So for instance, you are looking on your book on page 408, and you should have your journal with you. If you don't have either one of those, please push pause and go get them. Okay, so on the top of page 408, after it gave this wonderful description of what a ratio is, it gives us the problem. If there are 12 boys and 18 girls in a class, then the ratio of boys to girls in the class is 12 to 18. We often write ratios as fractions. We write the terms of the ratio in order from top to bottom. So when they said in our story, 12 boys to 18 girls, the 12 boys was spoken first. So we would put 12 on top, and then the girls with 18 was next. We put that down below in the denominator. So 12 to 18 looks like this. Then we do our usual reducing by finding <coughs> the uh, biggest or greatest common factor. 12 and 18, yeah, they both have six in them. So we're gonna divide each part by six. 12 divided by six. 2. 18 divided by 6? 3. So our ratio of boys to girls is 12 to 3. Actually, that's a 2 to 3. Okay, so let's look at an example. It says there were 12 girls, so our first fact we're given is 12 girls. And then it says, and 16 boys in class. So the second figure we we're given, 16 boys. What was the ratios of boys to girls? Well, usually they just told us to keep it in order, but this time they asked us actually to put boys to girls. So, what number are we going to have on top then if they wanted the ratio to be boys to girls? Yeah, we're going to put 16 on top and then we're going to put the 12 on the bottom. Now let me ask you, what is the greatest common factor of 16 and 12? Correct, 4. So, we're going to divide each part of the fraction by 4. 16 divided by 4 is? Four, very good. 12 divided by four is three. Excellent. So our ratio of boys to girls is four to three. Let's look at the practice problem. We have, there were 20 prairie dogs and 30 jackrabbits in Henry's backyard. Wow, I hope he has a really big backyard. What was the ratio of jackrabbits to prairie dogs in Henry's backyard? Okay, so let's write down in the order of what we are given. We have 20 prairie dogs. I'm just calling them PD right now. And we had 30 jackrabbits. Okay, and they want to know what the ratio of jackrabbits to prairie dogs are. Well, our jackrabbit number is 30. Our prairie dog number is 20. So the ratio is 30 to 20, but it can be reduced. What number, your greatest common factor, can go into both 30 and 20? Correct. 10 can. So 30 divided by 10 is, uh-huh, 3, and 20 divided by 10 is 2. So our ratio of jackrabbits to prairie dogs is 3 to 2. That is our lesson for today on ratios. While you're going through the lesson, if you have any questions, please note them, and we can talk about them when we go live at 1.30. Have a great morning, and I'll see you in a while. Bye-bye.